Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. At this point in my life, I only know five things. Actually, I know more than five things, but there are five things that I live by. And it all started with the bucket list. You see, I just graduated high school, and I was so happy. I was happy because I had just graduated. I was happy because I had a scholarship to a great university. But the main reason I was happy was because I just made the U19 national rugby team. And for me, this was my biggest dream. Where I grew up on the west coast of Canada, rugby is a huge sport, right? It's the third biggest sport behind hockey and hockey. <laughs> and I played fly half, which is like the quarterback and the kicker in one position. And I put a lot of pressure on myself to succeed. And as we were training for the World Cup in France, I started worrying about my field goals. I thought, what if I miss an easy kick right in front of the goalposts? What if I ruin this once in a lifetime opportunity? Now these worries would creep into my mind at night in the form of anxiety. And this anxiety caused me to lose sleep. And all of this caused me to slide into a depression. Now this is something I'd never experienced before. I was a happy-go-lucky guy, great group of friends, and all of a sudden, my anxiety stopped me from going to school, and it stopped me from going to rugby practice. I dropped out of university, and I got dropped from the rugby team. Now, when you take this next journey, whatever you do, just know that there will be ups and there will be downs. There will be times when you struggle. We are told, be strong, get through it on your own, don't rely on other people, don't be a burden, don't be someone else's problem. The truth is, this is backwards. From someone who has been there, this is backwards. We are all human beings. And when you hit that struggle, know this, you are not alone. And more importantly, asking for help in that time of need comes with no shame. Because whoever you go to for help will one day return the favor and come to you in their time of need. And this is the world we want to create. A world of connectedness and compassion. The truth is, any struggle you have overcome has made you stronger. Those battles have taught you things you never knew and taken you to places you never thought you could go. They have given you a depth of empathy for other people who might be struggling with something similar. You see, our struggles can be our strengths when we embrace them rather than try to hide them. Because this is our true self and who you truly are is exactly who you need to be. Now, in order to be your true self, know this, that thing that you've always wanted to do is possible. I'm here to tell you, you can do that thing. Not only can you do it, but you must do it. And I understand that it might feel impossible or you might question yourself asking, what makes me special enough to go after my dream? Well, you're not special and neither am I. And that makes us equal. You see, we were just young and dumb enough to follow our gut and not listen to anyone that told us it was a waste of our time. But that naivete is what fueled us. And as Henry Ford says, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Your job now, as you embark on this next chapter, is to stop and think about what's important to you. Not what's important to your parents or your friends, or your teachers, or your Instagram followers. Well, keep your Instagram followers in mind because they're pretty important. But think about what's important to you, in your gut and in your heart. And if that scares you, that's good. And if people say you're crazy, that's better. And if you can't think about what your passion is, feel what your passion is. What excites you when you think about it? Follow that feeling. Because if it's not what you really want, you simply will not have the energy to succeed. You see, it's easy to get buried by the everyday grind, to put your dreams on the back burner next year until next year. But we, not, we must not forget the words of the brilliant philosopher, Ferris Bueller. <laughs> Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Now take a second to think about your secret dream, right? What is it? And now that you're thinking about it, how do you accomplish it? My friends and I have managed to cross off nearly all 100 list items. 
And I noticed there are patterns of things we do again and again to accomplish any goal. As I said, I only know five things. So here they are. Here are the five steps to making the impossible possible. Now pay attention because this is literally everything I know, so it goes quick. Step one, write down your dream. Something funny happens when you write your list. You take an idea and you make it real. You take something that is intangible and you make it tangible. You're effectively breathing life into your dreams. You've begun to prioritize your goals. Suddenly, these are not dreams anymore, they're projects. A dream has a funny way of staying a dream, but a project, you can break it down into manageable steps, just like any work assignment or school project. Studies show that people that write down their goals are 40% more likely to succeed. That's an easy 40%. Take it. Step two, talk about your dreams. If you don't talk about your dreams, no one can help you. All right, one more time for the nosebleed section. If you don't talk about your dreams, no one can help you. Why would you want to do it by yourself? That is impossible. And I guarantee help will show up in the most unexpected ways. Because the only way we cross things off our list is through the help of other people. Some people don't talk about their biggest dreams because they're afraid of what other people might think. Or they're afraid of failure. Well, failure is usually a course correction to success. And what you learn far outweighs, far outweighs any potential hit to your reputation. Step three, persist. People trick themselves into thinking that external forces are the reason that they fail. The simple truth, you fail because you stop trying. Increase your odds of success with persistence. God knows that's how Johnny got my sister to prom. <laughs> success depends on consistency of effort as much as it does of quality of work. You can produce great work and not have it recognized. Trying again and again makes all the difference. Step four, take moonshots. Tim Ferriss says it well. 99% of the world does not believe they can do great things, so they shoot for mediocre goals. They shoot for realistic goals, right? So the level of competition is highest for realistic goals. Therefore, if you shoot for unrealistic goals, there's less competition. You have a higher chance of getting it done. Quite simply, a big dream motivates you to get out of bed every morning, and it attracts the best people and best talent by your side. You want those people standing next to you, right? Not doubters. And if you don't know how to do it, that's okay. All you need to know is the first step. You'll figure out the second step after the first. And finally, step five, give. As you know, helping others fills you up in a way that doing things for yourself does not, and often brings you a greater sense of fulfillment. Not only that, it also helps you get stuff done. When people see you out in the world helping others, they want to help you. Jim Carrey says, the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. This rings true.